Hello everyone, welcome back to Fried Chicken. I'm your host Stuart and I'm talking today about my airsoft equipment. So starting off here we have my airsoft goggles. I've gone through two different sets of goggles since um, I've started, but these ones are the mesh as you can see there going through them. Yeah, so um, I use these because I use the um, sort of plastic ones, but I found that they fogged up too much. I don't think you can have a spray to um, demystify them. Um, I found that these were better, more comfortable, and just all around better. And then over the top of this, oh, oh, you won't even hear me if I'm doing that, over the top of that is my balaclava. Now I have this more um, to protect my ears, and it's just comfortable. Oh, that's better. Oh, sorry, over the top of that goes my mesh face mask. Ta-da! Now some people don't use these. I've chosen to use this simply because... Um, oh, oh, that's better. I can see. Yeah, I've decided to go for the face mesh mask um, because I've known people to get their teeth knocked out. Um, I really don't want my teeth knocked out. I kind of like my pearly whites. They're not that white, but I like them to stay intact. They're meant to be in my mouth. I also have the uh, 5.11 gloves. Um, I don't know if you guys seen them. You can find them on Amazon. Very, very cheap. But expect a long wait for delivery. Going for the obviously the camo um, and to obviously protect my hands. Okay, so that's the sort of the, the gloves, the balaclava, the goggles, and the face mask. Okay, so what I wear is this, and what that is is that's just the British Army uh, camo gear, um, coat and trousers. And then with that, um, underneath I just wear a t-shirt and a jumper um, with some old black boots that I've got. Now of course, the weapon. Can we get a drum roll please? No. no. Um. Okay, I'll just... I'll, I'll do it without. Right, there we have it, the weapon, the G36C with collapsible stock. Um, I never collapse it because I've got my three-point sling attached to there. Uh, reflex dot sight, you can't really see at the moment because the cover's on. It's in green and red. So it's very simple to take off, you just push that out there and you pull the pin out and the battery goes in the front compartment. Great, great gun, did a lot of research on it. and. Uh, yeah, safety, semi, and fully also. Great gun. Um, only issue I've had with this, which I have seen other people seem to have an issue with, is when you're in um, semi auto, it does seem to jam sometimes. And you've got to flick it into fully auto, give it a quick fire, flick it back, and it, it works. I'm guessing it's just the uh, gearbox. So, there is all of my airsoft equipment. Really enjoying airsoft. Um, if none of you have tried airsoft, I really recommend giving it a go. Uh, you can rent stuff from most airsoft sites. Um, where I live, I go to the one in airsoft sites in Reading. If anyone's been paintballing, that is essentially what airsoft is. But you use BB guns, and it's just so much better. You've just got to make sure you are honest when you get hit, because there are people that don't. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, if you're a fan of Airsoft, you hit that like button and click. Of course, if you want to subscribe to see any more stuff coming out by me in the future, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to share with me on Facebook, Twitter, or any of the other social medias, all my links are in the description below. That's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.